basically have to count each mountain peak. You would see that there's about uh, 17 to 18 mountain peaks instead of mountain 12. Family. That's why when the Dutch people occupied South Africa, called it the 17 or the 18 cables. Then the British came along and they actually renamed it to the 12 apostles after the 12 apostles of Jesus Christ. So there's actually a nice legend behind the name. So they say that uh, during the British occupation of South Africa, a British ship basically entered the Atlantic seaboard over here on quite a cloudy and a windy day. So they couldn't really see where they were going. Hence the wind actually also blew them into one of the boulders in the middle of the ocean. Then the ship started sinking <coughs> and as the ship started sinking, the crew on board decided that seeing that they can't see where they're going and they might be their last few moments that they might now be alive, they decided to have a prayer meeting or so to say, or their final prayer. Okay, and as they were praying, the clouds which were covering these 18 or 17 mountain peaks basically miraculously dropped to an extent that 12 of these peaks stuck out to the guys at sea, then they could in turn use it to navigate their way to land. And when they arrived safely on land, that's when they believed it to have symbolized the 12 apostles of Jesus Christ, hence the main 12 apostles, guys, okay. Do you guys have any questions on that, though? Mm. You have any questions, my guy? Uh, no, brother. Uh, no. Any uh, celebrities that you know? So, um, last I heard of, uh, it was like Oprah Winfrey, uh -huh. Orlando Bloom, David mm. Beckham. They all own or have owned estates within this area. Okay. And also, if any celebrities do happen to come on vacation mm -hmm. to uh, Cape Town or South Africa, then they would normally also rent any mansion or property out within this section of the mountain. This is a This entire mountain range. Um, we, this is also counted in as one of the apostles, actually. If you are looking at it from uh, Maiden's Cove, which is also located just next to uh, Camps by Beachfront over there. Yeah, so that's actually view. where you would get the perfect view of the mountain and of the 12 apostles. And that section at the bottom is where you would actually physically be able to count each of the apostles. So there's two shipwrecks going around this coastline. If you look at that white building over there, that's the 12 Apostles Hotel. Directly next to that 12 Apostles Hotel, there's a shipwreck over there. Okay, then further along the coastline, closer to Pile oh, and Tatno Nature Reserve actually, there's another bigger shipwreck over there, which people normally hike up until as well, guys. Okay, so you can drive all the way around here, then you would eventually you would end up firstly in the um, fishing township of Hout Bay, okay, which is where the oldest uh, fishing village in Cape Town is situated, as well as if you want to go to Seal Island, okay, you will also find the charter at Seal Island, and the locals normally go there for nice fish and chips parcels, we call it, okay, or seafood cuisine or so onwards, but yeah, I'm local, so I normally go there for fish and chips parcels, we call it, okay? Very affordable for us locals as well. And the food is extremely tasty. Best place that I would recommend, fish on the rocks, okay? Yeah, the slogan is anything fresher is still swimming, guys. <laughs> yeah, sweet, sweet, sweet. Snookies used to be the place, but yeah. now I would definitely prefer fish on the rocks okay. over Snookies, definitely, guys. I'm remembering it from about 35 years ago when I came as a youngster. No, definitely, they are still there, but yeah, you know how it goes. Can you uh, dive in this water over here? You can go swimming in the water as well. Um, that's the actual beach front over there. Okay, then that's cool one of right our there. tidal see pools. See how they have the light coming through there? So, yeah. it's so that's actual beach front, all right? Yes, but people it, do go snorkeling around the coastline yeah, yeah. as well. But obviously you have to have a guided um, diver with you to take you around the reef unless you are already a qualified diver or so forth, guys. Mm -hmm. But there's uh, quite a various amount of marine life living around these parts as well, especially at uh, Cape Point as well, okay? Even on uh, Robben Island, 
which you see on that side there's also a very big variety of uh, sea life okay so normally we have a big problem with regards to poachers um, poaching the abalone along this coastline over here so we do also have navy patrols along this coastline for the poachers that normally poaches around these parts or around the robin island area as well guys yes so when we actually go to the city side then you will see the victoria and alfred waterfront and that's normally where the cruise ships uh, dock at that's as well so cool. okay so we're gonna take a walk up this way guys okay that is amazing right here man this, <laughs> at, last time we came here was this all cloudy the family yeah. this is this is what we wanted to show you last time and now we're gonna look on the other side we're gonna see the waterfront and that right there is tropical beach in paradise yes mr. Bomani Dakari Now the good information right yeah, we're trying to motivate the energy. So family, I'm going to show you another incredible view. Okay. And we're going to proceed and follow our guide. Yes, for money. Up and up. Yes, shall enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy the mountains. Yes, family, so we got our equipment, we're ready to roll, and we're just literally just enjoying the mountain as pack. With uh, this will give you also a great exercise. So when you go around uh, Table Mountain, you actually see just all aspects of Cape Town by just going around from one side to the next. Okay, uh, nonetheless, guys, the reason I am stopping along the wall line the whole time because normally you can see a little animal that looks like a rabbit, okay, um, running along the mountain slopes over here. However, it's not actually a rabbit. It doesn't have the long ears. Garden or the big feet that the rabbit actually has. What is, um, it, a, what is it, a mountain rat? It's a rock hyrax actually. <laughs> That's the scientific name. Uh, it's similar to a rat, but uh, the locals call uh. it a dasi. Okay, so like I said, it looks like a rabbit, but what makes this animal very unique uh, it's the fact that it's actually considered to be the closest living relative of the African elephant. So they grow about this big. Okay, and as big or as small as they are, scientists actually figured out that the kneecaps of the dashi and the bone structure of the elephant, it's made up of similar compounds, making that little guy the closest living relative. Also, they have a collapsible rib cage, so in case any predators like your eagle or your caracal mountain cats tries to capture them, then they can just contract the entire rib cage inwards and just squeeze in between any of the rock crevices or caps that you do see over here. And then last but not least, the Tassi also has a sweaty uh, pose which excretes a type of a sweat that allows them to stick onto the rocks and that's how they are able to run up and down these rocks without falling off. But if you guys do maybe happen to come out by Cape Point or so onwards or even in Gordons by where you guys are, there's also lots of dashes running around over there. So by then if you do spot it, you will at least have some knowledge as to what it is already guys. Okay? But also just be on the lookout because they do tend to run along these um, rocks over here. But we're gonna go up along the bridge over here. Oh! What? What sea is the Atlantic Sea? This is the Atlantic Ocean over here, yes. All the way around uh, wow. Cape Town we have the Atlantic Ocean. But there is a little map up this side here, which I'm going to actually show you guys. Then you can actually see 
the entire coastline along um, where we are now. Yeah. Excellent, fam. Excellent. Yes, man. Love it. Love it. A perfect day to get the view. I love it. Fam, you know, we're always excited. Just going to have a bit of a, a run up over here, my guy. Okay. So fam, we are going up in elevation some more and the journey continues and we're going to show you a whole lot more.